We're here with Hal Kilfillan, owner operator of Salmon Riverbend Outfitters in New Brunswick, Canada. We just got here and kind of checking the place out. Looks like we got some nice lodging. Looks like, you know, I've seen some kids running around. I'm guessing those are yours, right? Yep, yep, All right. Yep. So a nice little family kind of feeling to this place. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? I've been at it for 25 years, this year's 25 years, and I've loved every minute of it. I've uh, enjoyed myself doing it. I enjoy the people and and we've got some big bears, so I, I enjoy just getting out to the woods and, and getting some quality animals and, and educating my hunters and how to get quality animals. And So I'm really excited. I've never had a job that I've loved as much as it. There's, there's some bad things about it, but there's, there's more good things than the bad things. And you'll find out this week what all the bad things yeah. are about it. Because I need some fellas helping out on the bait and racket. So yeah. maybe, you know, if we can get, you know, you and maybe some of your cameraman or whatever, or we can... The cameraman sound good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that'd be a great yeah. idea for the cameraman. Yeah. How long are your are your hunts? Uh, you're looking at, their, they're a five-day hunt. So you start on Monday evening, uh, go right through till Friday evening. Most of our hunters will come in on either Saturday evening, Sunday morning. I like to get them out uh, on Sunday get them all set up to get the scent out of the area so we can go in hunting Monday evening. Any of our archer hunters, all our sites are anywhere from 18 to 22 yards away. Uh, elevation, you're looking at right around 14 to 15 foot platform, so it's a nice angling shot. Size-wise, you're looking for your big bears. Uh, you know, everybody's different. Your belly's getting lower to the ground. Uh, your ears look smaller. They've got an indent in their head. For the big bears, they'll waddle quite a bit. My biggest thing that I go by is if a fellow comes in and, and when that bear comes out, right all of a sudden he thinks it's a big bear, like a real big bear, it usually is. And usually most of these bears, on an average, like 90 or 95% of these bears, all of a sudden just boom, they're there. They're just like a black ghost. Yeah. And then you'll get some other hunter will tell you a story that he just come in just crashing and smashing. And a lot of our guys now that come up, like back in the, in the day, uh, they used to use a head net and stuff like that. Uh, now they're starting to use the, use the bug jackets and stuff. But the biggest thing now is, is the thermosel. I always tell my hunters, if there's no bugs, there's no bears. That's always the golden rule. That's not, that's not the best rule I've ever heard, though. <laughs> no, it's not. But what, what the reason for all that is, and when people says no bugs, no bears, is it's your temperature. You've got to have mm -hmm. the temperature to get these. Once it gets cool, they just don't want to move as much and stuff. And, and our fall hunt, like early fall, is just an awesome hunt. We can shoot some big bears and then. And so we have a lot of fall hunters that comes up, too. What's a big bear? Um, you're looking for a big bear anywhere in the vicinity of three to 400 pounds. We've shot them as high as 600 pounds um, in the springtime of the year, which that's kind of an uncommon thing. Your, your common big bears is right around the 400 range. Um, an average bear in the spring is right around 250 in pound wise. Well, on the drive up here, you know, it took us about five hours drive to get here. I noticed a lot of moose crossing signs. <laughs> Oh, we have tons of moose. Yeah. Ton like, uh, people don't realize how many moose that we really do have, you know. Just like you said, there's a lot of moose crossing signs, and we hunt them at the end of September. But that's a draw system, so your chances are about one in seven of getting drawn. So you, you've really got a good chance that's of pretty getting, good, yeah. getting a moose tag. So um, that's what we do our, the best on is our moose and our, our uh, bear. So. That's what we mainly just focus on for the fall is our moose and our bear. And of course, in the spring is, is back in our bear. So it's it's nice to have them two seasons of, of the bear because uh, it gives you your, your spring time that people you know might be not as busy in the spring and they can come in the spring and they're not doing too much. Versus with the fall, you've got people that might be busier in the spring with landscapers, different things like that, so they can they can get their bear hunting. Gives them more options to actually get out there and get out in the woods yeah. and go after their bear. So that's, that's good. And and with the fall, like with our fall, it usually with our archer season is mid September, and with our gun season, it's right around the first of October. So why don't you tell us a little bit about lodging? Um, you know, I of course everybody can see this beautiful river behind us. I mean, just an incredible view out here. But uh, lodging, cooking, uh, what, what can we kind of expect here? Well, you've got uh, three, three different cabins that we use. Uh, so we have four per cabin. Uh, we don't take no more than 12 hunters per week. Uh, that gives you, like I said, for each hunter, uh, he has his guide and stuff. It's a one on three, so that means that one guide takes three hunters. 
Um, it's all full course meals, breakfast, full breakfast, full dinner, full lunch at nighttime and everything. So we've got a great cook too. That's not you, is it? No, that's not <laughs> me, no. Sometimes I have yeah. to do it, but I just have to do the heating up. Okay, all right. Hal, thank you so much for letting us come up here and it's a pleasure uh, having you. check out your operation.